Alright guys, so here we are with the brand new BIOS, uh, the newest one Asus has released for this motherboard. And uh, right across the top you can see the first change there. You can OC based on op option OC from CPU level up, uh, which is right down our next option here, um, which we can select uh, different built-in OCs, um, things that we know will work with the i7. Um, they have i7 860 or 870, so we jump it up to the next processor, or we can even go different crazy ones. Um, other than that, um, there have been some other changes. CPU ratio has stayed the same. Uh, these options have all stayed the same. Um, down here we have ASUS third party UI priority. Um, I'm going to leave that on ASUS utility, but you can change uh, whichever one you want it to be at. Uh, we'll leave it on ASUS utility. Uh, down here we see OC tuner. Um, this is basically that auto tuning software that I just showed you. We can select a different profile. Um, if I had made another profile, I could have saved that and I could load it from the BIOS rather than having to load it from Windows. It gives me a little bit earlier to load it. And I can also start auto tuning from the BIOS. Uh, that's something brand new that wasn't there before. Um, another big thing that they changed. Um, they changed the voltage now so that instead of saying what you've changed it by, they're actually letting you know what it's currently set at. So, um, this is basically the roof that you will hit that it will allow you to go to. Um, I personally like this better than trying to guess and check uh, what you're going to have it set at. Um, makes things a lot easier. Um, another thing you'll notice is I definitely lowered that DRAM voltage uh, before I was jumping up there 2.0. It's a bit high. Um, that definitely, definitely uh, would have caused some problems. Um, I did change that previously in the previous overclock. Probably would have caused some problems with the normal overclock there had I left that voltage there. Um, other than that, things are pretty much the same. Um, got a little bit more options along here, but um, all in all, um, I gotta give it to uh, the designers at ASUS. They definitely put out one heck of a BIOS update and uh, gave a lot of options. So now we're gonna go ahead and OC this bad boy to 4.0. Um, at least that's what I'm gonna try and hit. and. Um, I'll let you know if I do or not. Alright, so um, this is my Prime 95. Um, I started it at 2352. So you can see it's 624. Uh, everything ran smoothly. Everything is over. Um, the final overclock I was able to achieve was 39. Um, I was able to do 4.0, but uh, those temperatures got pretty high, so if I wanted to suicide it, um, I could do 4.0, but, oh, excuse me, I decided to stick with uh, 3.9 and keep the temperatures pretty low. Um, so anyways, let's take a look at some of the other features of the motherboard.